Question, 1. When preparing to exit the freeway, you should signal for at least how many seconds before reaching the exit? A. 5 seconds. B. 10 seconds. C. 15 seconds. Correct answer, A. 5 seconds. When preparing to exit the freeway, you should signal for at least 5 seconds before reaching the exit. Question, 2. When passing a bicyclist, you must leave at least, of space between your vehicle and the bicycle. A. 10 feet. B. 3 feet. C. 5 feet. Correct answer, B. 3 feet. When passing a bicyclist, you must leave at least 3 feet of space between your vehicle and the bicycle. Question, 3. If you are in an intersection when you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle, you should a. Move to the right and stop at the intersection. b. Continue through the intersection, then move to the left and stop. c. Continue through the intersection, then move to the right and stop. Correct answer, c. Continue through the intersection, then move to the right and stop. Never block an intersection, even if an emergency vehicle is approaching. If you are in an intersection when you see or hear an emergency vehicle, continue through the intersection. Then move to the right as soon as you can and stop. Question, 4. In California, you may not stop at a, curb to pick up or drop off passengers. A, white. B, red. C, yellow. Correct answer, B, red. California has an extensive set of rules on painted colored curbs. A green curb indicates that you may park there for the time posted. A yellow curb is like a no parking sign. It means that you may stop there only momentarily to pick up or drop off passengers or cargo. A white curb is like a no standing sign. It means that you may stop there only momentarily to pick up or drop off passengers but not cargo. A red curb is like a no stopping sign. It means that you may not stop there for any reason other than to obey another traffic rule. Finally, a blue curb indicates that only persons who have a disabled placard or disabled license plate may park there. Question, 5. This hand signal indicates that A. The driver is making a left turn. B. The driver is making a right turn. C. The driver is slowing or stopping. Correct answer, C. The driver is slowing or stopping. This hand signal indicates that the driver is slowing or stopping. Question, 6. Rain, snow, and ice impair your ability to see ahead, so you should, to be able to stop your vehicle safely. A. Increase your speed. B. Use high beam headlights. C. Increase your following distance. Correct answer, C. Increase your following distance. Bad weather calls for lower speeds. You should follow other vehicles at a greater distance. Rain, snow, and ice impair your ability to see ahead and increase the braking distance required to stop your vehicle. In these conditions, increase your following distance and apply your brakes sooner but more gently than usual. Question, 7. What does this sign indicate? A. The divided highway ends ahead. B. The right lane is closed ahead. C. A divided highway starts ahead. Correct answer. C. A divided highway starts ahead. This sign warns that the road will split into a divided highway ahead. A divider or median will separate opposing lanes. Keep right. Question, 8. Your vehicle breaks down on a freeway. You are not able to move the vehicle off the road completely as the road shoulder is too narrow. What is the best thing to do? A. Leave the vehicle immediately and wave at drivers to let them know you are blocking the lane. B. Exit on the right side of your vehicle and proceed to a safe place. C. Stay inside your vehicle with the seat belt on until help arrives. Correct answer. B. Exit on the right side of your vehicle and proceed to a safe place. When there is not enough shoulder space or if there is a guardrail or an area to safely stay away from the freeway lanes, you must exit your vehicle and stay away from your vehicle. 
Use your emergency flashers at your discretion according to weather conditions. Question 9. What does this warning sign mean? A. Slow moving vehicles should not move as directed. B. Slow moving vehicles should move as directed. C. There is a stop sign ahead. Correct answer. C. There is a stop sign ahead. This warning sign indicates a stop sign ahead. The driver should come to a complete stop near the stop sign before proceeding further. Question 10. If you're involved in a collision, you must report it to the DMV if anyone was injured or killed or there was more than, in damage to anyone's property. A. $1,000. B. $2,000. C. $10,000. Correct answer. $1,000. Under California law, if you're involved in a collision, you must report it using SR, 1 report to the DMV within 10 days if anyone was injured or killed or there was more than $1,000 in damage to anyone's property. Question 11. You arrive at a railroad crossing. The crossing has flashing red lights and a signal bell. You can see that a train is approaching. Which of the following is true? A. You must stop at least 15 feet away from the tracks. B. You can stop within 5 feet of the tracks. C. You can cross as soon as the train has passed. Correct answer. You must stop at least 15 feet away from the tracks. When you stop at a railroad crossing, you should stay at least 15 feet away. You must not cross while the signal lights are flashing, the signal bell is sounding, or the boom gate is not completely raised. Even after the train has passed, a second train may be approaching. Question 12. When passing a vehicle, do not merge back in front of the vehicle until you can see its dash. A. Driver in your left side mirror. B. Headlights in your rear view mirror. C. Headlights in your left side mirror. Correct answer. B. Headlights in your rear view mirror. When passing a vehicle, do not merge back in front of the vehicle until you can see its headlights in your rear view mirror. Large vehicles have long stopping distances. If you merge back directly in front of a large vehicle and then suddenly slow down or stop for some reason, you might get rear-ended by the large vehicle. Question 13. If you park facing uphill where there is no curb, set the parking brake and A. Turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. B. Turn your wheels away from the edge of the road. C. Keep your wheels facing straight. Correct answer. Turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road that does not have a curb, your front wheels should be turned to the right, toward the edge of the road. This will ensure that the vehicle will roll off of the road if the brakes fail. Question 14. On a freeway, you should look farther ahead than you would on a city street. A. Because it takes a quarter of a mile to stop your vehicle completely. B. Because it helps you keep up with traffic. C. In order to see potential hazards early. Correct answer. C. In order to see potential hazards early. On the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on-ramps and interchanges and be prepared for rapid changes in road conditions and traffic flow. Question 15. To avoid skidding, which of the following should be done before you enter a curve? A. Shift into a lower gear. B. Increase your speed by pressing on the gas pedal. C. Reduce your speed by applying the brakes. Correct answer. C. Reduce your speed by applying the brakes. Slow down before you enter a curve so that you can avoid braking in the curve. Braking in a curve can cause a skid. Question 16. When driving at night and the headlights from oncoming cars are causing a glare, you should be looking. A. Directly into the headlight. B. To the right edge of your lane. C. Above the oncoming headlights. Correct answer. B. To the right edge of your lane. Don't look at the headlight of the opposite vehicle. Just look on to the road and to the right edge of your lane alone. Once you look at the opposite vehicle headlight, you will turn blind for a while. 
Question 17. A white curb could best be described as the following. A. Pick up or drop off passengers or mail. B. Loading or unloading passengers or things. C. Temporary parking. Correct answer. Pick up or drop off passengers or mail. White curb usually uses stops only long enough to pick up or drop off passengers. Question 18. What is the recommended speed limit when approaching a blind intersection? A. 25 miles per hour, B. 20 miles per hour, C. 15 miles per hour. Correct answer, C. 15 mph asterisk asterisk. An intersection is considered blind if it has no stop signs at any corner. If your view is blocked, move slowly forward until you can see. The speed limit for a blind intersection is 15 miles per hour. Question 19. What is the potential consequence for a driver who fails to stop when a school bus displays flashing red lights, according to traffic regulations? A. A verbal warning from law enforcement. B. A fine of up to $500. C. A fine of up to $1,000 and suspension of driving privileges for one year. Correct answer, C. A fine of up to $1,000 and suspension of driving privileges for one year. When the bus flashes red lights located at the top, front, and back of the bus, you must stop from either direction until the children are safely across the street and the lights stop flashing. Remain stopped while the red lights are flashing. If you fail to stop, you may be fined up to $1,000 and your driving privilege could be suspended for one year. Question 20. What is the use of the special turnout areas marked on a two-lane road? A. To allow vehicles to make a U-turn. B. To allow vehicles behind the driver to pass. C. To allow vehicles to make a left turn. Correct answer, B, to allow vehicles behind the driver to paw. Some two-lane roads have special turnout areas or lanes. Merge into these areas or lanes to allow cars behind you to pass. Question, 21. If you litter on the roadside, you are subjected to a fine of A, $1,500. B, $1,000. C, $500. Correct answer. B. $1,000. Do not litter on the roadside. The fine is $1,000, and you may be forced to pick up what you threw away. Also, littering convictions will show on your driving record. Question 22. In a roundabout, a driver must drive in A. A clockwise direction. B. The direction of oncoming vehicles. C. A counterclockwise direction. Correct answer, C, a counterclockwise direction. Here is some common tips for motorists navigating roundabouts when you approach a roundabout. 1. Slow down as you approach the intersection. 2. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists crossing the roadway. 3. Watch for signs and pavement markings that guide you or prohibit certain movements. 4. Enter the roundabout when there is a big enough gap in traffic. 5. Drive in a counterclockwise direction. Do not stop or pass other vehicles. 6. Use your turn signals and you change lanes or exit the roundabout. 7. If you miss your exit, continue around until you return to your exit. Question 23. Are the most likely places for car and motorcycle collisions to occur? A. Intersections. B. Expressways. C. Roundabouts. Correct answer, A, intersections. Intersections are the most common place where a collision between a motorcycle and a passenger vehicle are likely to occur. The cause of these collisions at intersections is often due to the driver of the car not seeing the motorcycle. That is why it is important to look twice for motorcyclists and to make a conscious effort to scan the road ahead and around you for motorcycles. Question, 24. You should cut your speed in half when the road is A. Packed with snow B. Icy C. Wet Correct answer, A. Packed with snow Rain, snow, or mud can make the road slippery. 
drive more slowly than you would on a dry road. Adjust your speed for different conditions. Wet road, reduce your speed by 5 to 10 miles per hour. Packed snow, reduce your speed by half. Ice, reduce your speed to no more than 5 miles per hour. Question, 25. If you are found guilty of driving without wearing a seatbelt, you will be fined up to, if this was your first offense. A. $20. B. $50. C. $100. Correct answer, A. $20. Under California law, if you are found guilty of driving without wearing a seatbelt, you will be fined up to $20 for a first offense and up to $50 for each subsequent offense. Thanks for watching if you feel that this video helps you for passing your DMV written test then please hit the subscribe button and like, share the video.